Hello everybody, this is the Imagine Of, and welcome to another episode on the L Imagine This Let's Play series. I'm, I'm going to get that right someday. I'm going to get it right. Um, we've got all kinds of cool things today in store. We're going to have a jam-packed episode. Uh, in the beginning of Minecraft game, uh, there is a lot to do and tons of crazy stuff going on. And I'm going to keep my wits about me and try to stay a little organized. It's kind of cramped in here, isn't it? Um, we're in our hole-in-the-wall base uh, at our new location outside of the spawn chunks. And, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I've been spending some time uh, getting ready for some things that we're going to do uh, in this area. We need to build our new base um, and uh, get a bunch of stuff going. So the first thing I'd like to invite everybody to do today is uh, to hit the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. Uh, if you're going to watch the series, uh, it's a good way to get reminders and notifications and let you know what's happening. Um, and uh, if you'd like to, uh, you could also join us on Facebook at theimagineof.com or imagineof at facebook.com or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, that's a I post uh, when I'm releasing episodes and all kinds of things there. So that might be something that would interest you. So today we're going to check our little situation um, down here in the underbelly of the auto fisher. I've been doing some overnight auto fishing and uh, had to run out and get a bunch of wood because we didn't have enough chests. I mean, I barely have enough chests uh, to really do anything, but uh, I did this over here because I had auto fished the first night and uh, filled up all these chests and then uh, this was full and I wanted to run it last night. So we, it's a couple days since the last time we talked and uh, you can hear in the background we have uh, some some pillagers out there and for the astute viewers, we'll show you, uh, you'll notice I don't have my milk anymore um, because I had to drink my milk. Um, I got attacked. We're gonna go get... We're going to see what's going on with these guys. Uh, we got some baddies outside. And uh, they are... I got somebody shooting a crossbow at me. This is a, uh, a pillager. Alright. And uh, he was really cramping my style. Um, I had some kind of... I think it was a, a witch... Or somebody was throwing stuff at me and uh, they were all just generally in a bad mood outside my base and uh, causing me trouble so we had to uh, uh, there there's the other one let's uh, let's take a quick look before it gets dark there they are they got their little flag uh, we're gonna take care of those guys in just a second we're gonna run in and get some rest uh, it is dark and then uh, after we kill this guy and get some milk, we're going to uh, uh, get started with the episode. <clears throat> so, I hope everybody is having a wonderful morning or evening, uh, wherever you are. Let's get out here and uh, see what we got. We, we have the ability to make some decent stuff now. Uh, we'll check out the auto fisher contents. But I want to get rid of these guys. Uh, they're, they're bugging me. And they just will keep wandering around out here until we remove them. Um, we got rid of the, the uh, magic user guy, which... Oh, 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 ow, oh, ow, go away. Stop shooting me. All right, a voluntary exile. Okay, so this is a good example of <clears throat> now we have a bad omen. If you, you'll see it up in the uh, top right hand corner of the screen, and uh, you'll see we got a little banner, an ominous banner. So uh, yeah, we got to uh, deal with that now. So that's what the milk is for. A lot of people want to have the raids. That's cool. I don't want to raid right now. <laughs> I want to. Uh, Get started with what we're doing today. So we're going to go over here, milk a cow, and uh, get rid of our uh, bad omen. 
because who wants to start their day off with a bad omen? Not me. All right. There. No more bad omen. I'm going to have a, something to eat. A little bread. <clears throat> well, can't eat bread yet. I'm not hungry. And, uh, okay, so the first order of business, we'll check the auto fisher, see what we got, and then uh, we will uh, get to work on removing the sand from the middle of our build area, which is going to be over here. Ah, oh, such a beautiful day in Minecraft. And we're in the desert, so this is all good stuff. All right, here we are, back at the hole in the wall. All right, we'll save that milk. We'll keep it on us. We'll go down here. Uh, this is what we got the day before. Now, I do have a little kind of a janky setup in here. Uh, just in order for me to get these chests in here to where I could open them. So, okay. This is the top, this is the bottom, so we'll look at kind of what we got. So yeah, it might be a little overpowered, I'm not sure. We got a silk touch book, we have to take that. Uh, flame, I'm not too worried about. Uh, looting, we'll probably take, and uh, I don't mind the fire protection. Um, luck of the sea, we don't need. Um, smite, I might take smite, you never know. Uh, it helps out with uh, skeletons and other things, zombies, undead things. You smite them with the awesome holy power. Um, so we have aqua affinity. I kind of like that. And uh, let's see here. Smite efficiency power. Da, 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 da. Flame power. Sharpness. Ooh, another silk touch. Awesome. Um, efficiency for unbreaking three. That'll be great for a tool. Power. That's a single book. I might take that. Um, all right. And as you can see, oh, fishing overnight can be a very productive thing. Um, fire protection. Um, I'm going to wait and see if I can get a fire protection. Four. Um, protection. Uh, knockback. Knockback's not too bad, but it's going to wind up having... Bane of arthropods probably get on the enchant. I don't want that. Uh, knockback. There, we can take that one. Um, mending. Yes. Mending book. Yeehaw. That's one of the ones we're really looking for. There's the other half of our looting. So if we combine this book and this book onto a weapon, we will have a looting three weapon. Frostwalker. Not my favorite, but uh, it might come in handy. And let's see here. Depth Strider. Totally love that one. Um, that helps you walk in the water and the lava. Um, let's see here. Sharpness. I'll take that. As you can see, we get a lot of uh, worthless books. I'll take a second Depth Strider, and it's got Blast Protection on it, so that might be kind of handy. Um, Fortune 3. There we go, folks. That goes on the pickaxe that we mine our diamonds with. So we will be set for uh, mining diamonds now. We can mine them at uh, the most efficiency that we can. Um, I did watch a video... Huh. I didn't fill these up all the way. But anyway, uh, there was a video on the SciCraft server. Uh, if anybody ever wants to just completely nerd out and you haven't watched anything about the SciCraft server, there's a couple other really good servers that get very, very technical. But they found a way to, uh, just by manipulating game mechanics, turn on or off being able to get the maximum amount of drops from a fortune three pickaxe. So it's, it's pretty cool. They, you, they literally can just flip a switch and everywhere in the world, the drops will be the maximum. That's pretty cool. So if you had a diamond block, every diamond block would give you four diamonds. Uh, I believe so. 
Let's see what we have in here. Uh, we got a depth strider. I'm breaking. That'll be handy. Um, let's see here. Looting and efficiency and I'm breaking. That's a pretty good one right there. But it's got Bane of Arthropods on it. So I, I don't know if that will uh, translate over to our weapon. I think it would. Blast protection. I'm taking that. We're trying to get some armor built up. Efficiency for looting. Two, we'll take that. Um, actually, I don't know why I took that. But, okay, so what? the reason why I do this, and, and I don't have them side by side. You can take these. You can open them, whether they're facing you or side by side or whatever. So, we don't necessarily have to have this like this these could be sideways and we could make more efficient use of the horizontal space or this space on this plane so uh i like them like this because i can see the little uh carving in the chest i get to see all the little artistic detail that uh the creator of chroma hills put into this so i like to have it this direction but we could have it sideways and uh, the same goes with these hoppers. They could all just be in a big row facing forward, and it will drop through them to the bottom one chest and uh, fill that chest up, then fill the hopper up, then fill the chest up, then fill the hopper up, then fill the chest up. And the hopper has, uh, let's see, five slots. So what happens here is I check the chest, then I look in the hopper, to see if anything's in the hopper then I check you know like that so that's why I'm doing it this way you can do it other ways there's better ways to do it uh, if, if you're trying to be efficient with space this is not about the space efficiency um, all right so let's see here I just want to make a quick check I'll take that other blast protection and uh, let's see <laughs> Nothing in there. Now we have plenty of food also. And you don't, you wind up getting a lot of things you don't need. So that's, that's why we need a little disposal system. And we'll, we'll get to that uh, towards the end of today's episode for sure. Because that needs to be done. Although I need a comparator. So we will have to either make a portal, go to the nether, grab some quartz. Um... Let's see. So, that's a good one. Check in there. Holy mackerel. We got a lot of books. Um, that might be handy. Take the respiration. In case Lily ever comes. Oh, feather falling. Yes, this will go on our boots. So, we can uh, fall and take less damage. It, it protects you a little bit from the damage. Alright. I'm, uh, it's a, it's a pretty morning here in southern Indiana. Everything's looking good. Um, stuff is, uh, it looks like we might get a little snow here. And, uh, I'm hoping that we do. Because Lily would love that. And, uh, I would like it. Uh, I don't have to really do a whole lot of driving. Uh, I do take my wife to work if she, uh, if we have a decent big snow, because, uh, that's what you're supposed to do if, if, if she wants it. So, here's our glowstone dust. We got that from killing the wizard, or the magic user guy, the witch guy, the bad guy. And, uh, okay, so at this point, I'm going to get us set up to work on this sand hill out here and we will uh, come back when I'm ready to do that and get to work on it okay everybody uh, I'm doing a little exploratory digging and uh, right now we have an enderman hanging out in our vicinity um, I wanted to say that when I died on the last episode, for some unknown reason, it cut all the way to my desktop, and I had to edit that out, and, and when I switched back and forth between the desktop and my uh, game, it blacks out my screen. 
uh, temporarily with the screen recording software that I'm using. So uh, I wasn't able to put the death screen up when I went back to edit it. So I apologize for that. Um, I did die. And there was only about a few seconds, probably maybe at the most five to eight seconds that uh, was in between that. I did want to say that was not a smart way to fight an Enderman. I know how to fight an Enderman. Uh, you, what you try to do is uh, put some blocks down where you, it looks like this. I'll just show you. We put blocks like this. And then we uh, pick this out, and then you, what you're trying to do basically is keep them from being able to reach you because they're too tall. And if you stand under this, they can't get to you, all right? So as long as we're in here, um, and we, we may keep this little thing set up for the next Enderman that comes our way. But you just kind of stand under here. Uh, you might have to make it a little bit bigger because I think their arms can reach you sometimes. Because uh, they have long arms. If you look at them, we'll try to get a good look at it. But if you stand under here like like so, um, they can't get us. And, and, and then you just chop away and uh, everything's cool. Um, I knew that. I was just so excited uh, that I killed myself. So let's, uh, just to show, uh, so I know where to stand, where the center is, we will just turn this into a little uh, Enderman killing safe haven. Yeah. Like so. And this will just give me an idea of where the center block is, and so I can stand there and not get too close to the edge. All right, and we'll leave the sand block. Whoops. It doesn't have a center, does it? I, I knew that. All right, so we'll just ding, ding, ding. You can make these a lot smaller. Uh, the ones I've seen people do, they just make like a like a three by three. What did I do? I am just all kinds of beside myself today. Uh, I want to make this where I have a center. Um, I think I have one now. I think we done it. Uh, get out of my way. And you can also stay out here at night. Um, I have a little system with boats that I, I watched a video a long time ago, and uh, it was really cool. I like how they get caught in the boats. We'll do, we'll do a little demonstration, but from now on, if we see an Enderman, we're going to run under here, stand in the center, and stare them right in the eyeballs, and that will get them to come and attack us. All right, back to work. Okay, here we are. We've done some uh, little bit of sand clearing on this little hill that we have. And what it looks like uh, is that we're going to have to raise up some areas a little bit uh, just to have an even working space. Uh, you know, the base of our pyramid is going to be in this area. So we might have to raise this up a little bit and uh, throw some sand in there or whatnot. We do have a couple dangerous... Uh, little holes in the ground. Um, I had to fix this one to where uh, stuff wouldn't be falling out from underneath me. Somebody is, uh, there's some deadly people down here. Oh, there he is. I see you, Mr. Zombie. 
So we got we got all kinds of mob issues happening around here. I hear some spiders over here. So the next order of business is to begin uh, taking out this sandstone. And the nice thing about sandstone is it breaks fairly easy and you can turn it into all different kinds of cool looking blocks. So uh, I made up some stone tools to work with while we're doing this. I, I don't have enough diamonds and we don't have a mine over here. Um, <clears throat> so the, the first order of business for this situation is to get this hill out of the way with some stone tools. And then we're going to uh, get our mine shaft dug. And I will do some mining off camera. Um, and get us as many diamonds. We need a set of uh, diamond, all diamond stuff. So uh, we need diamond armor and we need diamond tools, all diamond tools with some mending or at least efficiency and unbreaking on them uh, to make them last as long as possible. We have enough efficiency and unbreaking books, uh, but we only have one mending book. So we have to be uh, very thoughtful about which in, uh tool that we're going to put that enchantment on. I'm going to put it on the fortune three pickaxe we're going to make and <clears throat> pardon me, that will be my first mending tool and we will have to guard that thing with our lives. Uh, we cannot lose the mending fortune three pickaxe because it will be hard to replace. <clears throat> we'll only use it in situations where we know we're safe until we have a backup. Uh, so I will finish this up, uh, get some rest, and then finish this. And once we get it down to this level, we will start filling in our area. And we may take that one out too. Uh, and get this evened up and ready to lay out the uh, design floor, floor plan <clears throat> Pardon me for our base. And that's when I can choose where to put the mine shaft. I don't want to put the mine shaft in until I know how our base is laid out. Uh, I apologize if there's a little lag. I'm running uh, some uh, software in the background right now that is uh, doing some system maintenance. So we're going to uh, walk and chew gum at the same time today. But there might be a, a, a tiny bit of a performance degradation. It's only showing that I'm using... Uh, like 6% of my CPU right now, and like 60% of the GeForce card. Um, so I don't know. It's 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 We're doing uh, some maintenance in the background today, so we might have a little bit of choppiness, and that's all right. We'll see uh, what we got when we get the hill cleared out, and uh, we'll get the, get the floor plan of our base in place. Okay, we're back and uh, we've done some clearing here and we're here at the sunrise this morning. Beautiful uh, sun coming up in the background. We have some uh, clouds, light fluffy clouds. Beautiful day. Um, we are going to uh, do something a little bit exciting. We're going to find out what kind of uh, hand we've been dealt in the nether. Um, and then uh, I just need some quartz. So we got to get in there and get some quartz. And then we're going to go to check out what's going on underneath the area where we want to build our base. Because this uh, looks like we're, we're going to have some mob issues in the beginning. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I think our armor is sufficient. Uh, but we don't have killing power. So we're going to get some a little bit better weapon. And... Uh, Probably throw an enchantment or two on that. So we're going to uh, let's see. We got the we got the stuff, so to speak, um, to make a diamond sword. So we're going to make a diamond sword. We need the diamond sword. The iron one is not cutting it anymore. No pun intended. Um, so we go to the anvil, which costs us a pretty penny in. Um, stuff and so right now we're going to put looting well i think we're just going to put sharpness on there and that gets us a little bit better attack damage our shield is good we got decent armor um i'll put the looting book back 
and we're going to go make our portal and see where Minecraft has dealt us in the nether. Um, this can go a bunch of ways. <laughs> it can go well, and it can go horrible. I've had uh, portals that have just actually put me out in the middle of a lava lake before, and um, had to build my way over. And uh, so, you know, this could be good, this could be bad. I think what we're going to do is stick it for right now, because we can always change uh, where this is. Uh, we're going to put it right here. How about that? And for those of you who are kind of particular about the way you do your uh, nether portals, I apologize if the way I do it offends you. Um, I think it just has to be too wide and three high to work. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to waste some obsidian and not worry about it. I like mine to look whole. All right. So here we go, guys. Uh, the only thing I'll cry uh, if I lose right now is my diamond sword, but everything else we can replace pretty easy. So we're going to get our flint and steel, which is made with one bar or one ingot of iron and uh, let's see, one bar and, and a piece of flint. All right. There is our portal. So uh, let's hop in here, see what we got, see if we can just get us a piece of uh, quartz. That's the lovely sound they make. So let's go in. All right. Oh, man. I don't recognize this. <laughs> so, uh, we have, uh, oh, some nether quartz right here. Yay. I believe that's, I hope that's, yeah, that's nether quartz. It looks a little different uh, in this. And we just need a few pieces. Oh, man, look at this. Ooh, doggy. We are above a massive lake of lava. And uh, I don't have a bow or anything. <laughs> So let's see, kind of just get a little picture of where we're at. Oh, we got some glowstone right here. Yeehaw! And we got a silk touch pickaxe. I'm going to grab a piece of that. What is that? That is some crazy looking stuff. Um, if we die in here, we lose everything because it'll probably fall in the lava. And, uh, yeah, the nether is, as if it wasn't deadly enough, uh, they have managed to, uh, make it even more deadly. Yeah, we are way up. Um, so, okay. So we didn't get, like, the easiest spawn in the nether, but we didn't get, like, the worst spawn. Um, we're probably going to wind up going up into the ceiling. Ooh, what is that? Gold. Oh, so you can get gold in the nether now. Well, there's a lot to learn. Um, I don't even know what this stuff is. What is this? Uh, we'll have to... Maybe they've changed... <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm a little terrified. Um, but this is where we spawned. And we at least had the ability to get a few pieces of glowstone right off the bat. And, uh, looks, uh, looks pretty nasty in here. Um, all right. So, uh, yay, that's the nether. <laughs> We're going to leave for now until we get some armor. And, uh, whew, man. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a, a shadow. That's kind of cool, man. We might have to get a screenshot of that. That might be our, our screenshot that we use 
All right, so now that we got a few things, we're going to go back and I will uh, get some stuff prepared to make a uh, little disposal system. And uh, we'll put that together on camera and uh, get, get ready to lay out the dimensions of our base. We have a way to get to the nether now. Um, and uh, the only thing we really have to do soon is get a mine going. So we'll, we'll work on that next. Hello everybody, we're back, and uh, this is the future Imagine. Uh, I don't want to show you too much what's going on over there, uh, because I'm not sure where I'm going to edit this in. But this is to keep the episode from being way entirely too long. So, we're going to end the episode here at a reasonable length of time, and uh, split this episode into two pieces. So, we will now have a two-part episode that is in a more chewable size. Uh, we're going to end it up with uh, killing this poor spider here. Uh, we have lots of good stuff left in the episode, but we're going to put it in another, another chunk so that we don't have to see it all in one big gigantic sitting. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Please hit the subscribe button uh, or the like button if you would like to give me some feedback and let me know how we're doing. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.